everybody, this is Mad Panda Games here, and today we're going tackling the Blind Griffin. Now, the Blind Griffin, it takes place in Prohibition, but it also mixes magic and intrigue into them. So let's get started, guys. Let's do this. I'm ready. Uh, would I like an explanation? You know what? No, let's wing it. Let's wing it and fail terribly at it. Ooh. Yeah. oh The glass jar I was holding explodes, sending smoke and bits of glass everywhere. Oh, so that's us. Ho ho ho. I like our face. Well, that didn't go the way I wanted it to at all. My mentor ain't happy about this either. I'm probably in for a lecture. But what did he really expect? I'm new at this. Ooh, who's our mentor? Who's our mentor? When I came to San Francisco with my family, I never thought I'd end up becoming a magician in training. I wish I'd become a magician in training, so do we have to go to San Francisco to become magicians? It was maybe only number eight on my list of job choices. What was after it? Actually, I'm not really sure what I expected. At least there hasn't been a dull moment since I got here. This all started a little over a week ago. <gasps> Flashback! Okay, so 1925, November 29th. It wasn't long after getting here that I decided it was time for me to leave the nest. Don't get me wrong, I love my family, always will, but I don't want to spend the rest of my life working laundry. I get that. Besides, they never came out and said it, but I think my parents are both disappointed that I still haven't middle aisled it. I got plenty of offers, sure, but I wasn't about to get married to the first schmuck who asked, and marrying one of them would have meant being a railroad wife. Or a laundry wife. No. Nah, I've got my sights set higher. I don't need a man to make things happen for me. You go, her heroine. I just said heroine. He heroine? Heroine. Whatever, how you pronounce the word for female protagonist. Or so I thought. But there weren't exactly a lot of jobs for a Chinese Jane. Though even if I was a boy, I don't think I'd have had much luck. I guess there's a reason so many Chinese people work in laundry. Oh, that's sad. Just as I was starting to feel like I'd done a real dumb thing leaving my family, I noticed some things in the air I ain't ever never saw before. Magicians! Follow the glowing arrows! There were words floating around above me, shimmering and sparkling words that looked like they were made of smoke. Follow them! At least I think they were words. I can't read. Never learned how. Follow them! Anyhow, I got curious. They formed a trail, and seeing as I had nothing else to do and nowhere to be, I followed where they led. Yes, follow the weird, mysterious words in the sky. Turns out at the end of the smoke trail was what looked like a candy shop. Huh. I wonder who here had made the smoke flow in the air and shine like that. But mostly, seeing all that candy I couldn't eat just reminded me I was dangerously low on money. I'd bet whoever owned the place wasn't looking to hire someone like me to help out either. I turned away, but a soft voice called out to me before I could go. Wait, are you here to inquire about the job? The word job was music to my ears. Oh, she's pretty. Oh, wow, you can see, look, look you can actually see the smoke, uh, billing right here. Okay, that's a nice touch. I turned around so fast I almost fell over. In front of me was this real tall dame. I ain't never seen a woman that tall before. She was dressed to the nines and looked like she had real heavy sugar. I bet she's the one who owns this place. Cool. I nodded, but suspicious-like. I'm Marie. What's your name? My name, huh? I had to think about that for a second. I refuse to go by my real name, so I'll tell her it's... Okay. Okay, if I left blank, the name will be randomized for you. Uh... Screw it, let's go randomize. I can't ever think of good names. Let's do it. Leela? No. Let's try it again. Carol? No. No? I don't want to be Carol. Carrie? No, I don't want to be Carrie. Jack? No! You know what? I'm, I'm gonna go with Maddie. Maddie because it reminds me of Hattie. There. Yeah, you're going to be Maddie. It's Maddie. Maddie, is it? That certainly is an adorable name. You're here for that job, right? 
The way she said that was kind of shady, but I had nothing to lose. Yep. What? Copacetic. I don't know that how to pronounce that, but I'm gonna try my best. Copacetic. Come in, come in. Okay then. So much candy. She took me inside the place. Candy lined the walls. It looked legit, but too perfect somehow. I started putting the pieces together. So, a candy shop, huh? Pretty good cover, isn't it? Yep, I knew there was something else going on here. She led me into a back room and pushed a button that made the wall open up. We went down some stairs and... Yep, there it is. Sure enough, there was a speakeasy at the bottom of them. Cool. Who's this plain Jane? Hey, you are not so hot looking yourself. You're average. Yeah, I'm a girl. And you're one to talk. Ain't exactly a cat yourself. You go, Maddie. <laughs> Bozo with no manners. What was that, you bear cat? Damn. Now, now. Take it easy, Emmy. Hmm. <laughs> okay. This is Maddie. She's here about the job opening. Nice to meet you, Maddie. I'm Vivian. Oh, you can just call me Vivi for short. I nodded. Okay. This sourpuss here is Emilio. Don't pay him no mind. He's all bark and no bite. Got it. Says you. Says everyone. Ah, beat it. Heh. <laughs> Emilio gave me a once over. You got any experience bartending? Don't exactly look like the type. Why? Because I'm Chinese? He waved his hand at that. After I thought about it, I figured this place don't care much about a person's color. Whoever heard of a day I'm mixing dream? Drinks. Dom? Damn. I'm gonna go damn. Couldn't argue with that. Not like I had any experience. I'm a quick study. Wonderful. We've got another bird here who can mix drinks well enough, but he's pretty tied up with other duties. We want someone who'll take his place so he can focus on music. Think you can do it? Marie and I'd love to have another girl here. I ain't in a position to be picky about work. If you'll have me, you're on. Copacetic, where are you staying? Is it close to here? Uh, well, I'll level with you, Marie. I left my parents' place, so I ain't got a place to stay right now. Is that gonna be a problem? No worries, sweetheart. We've got an extra room. Oh, so friendly. This all seemed too good to be true. Where was the catch? How much is pay? Hmm, how does a sawbuck a week sound? A gal like me wasn't gonna complain about that. It was way more than I would've made staying with my parents. Copacetic. She beamed when I said that. Like I said, I'm a quick study. Oh, I was doing it in her, in Marie's voice. No, I wanna do it again in my voice. Sounds cooler. She beamed when I said that. Like I said, I'm a quick study. All I'm doing is bartending, mixing drinks and helping out at the candy store upstairs. You'd just be watching the place, really. It's easy. You'll do great. All right, I've got no complaints. I'm in. Wonderful. I still don't think this is a great idea, Marie. We don't exactly got people lining up, you know. Give it up already. Emilio grumbled something in Spanish. I'm no Spanish expert, but I don't think it was something nice. Damn. Now, I've got some business to take care of. Maddie, you should rest before tonight. The blind griffin opens at 6 o'clock on the dot. Be there and look sharp. Phoebe, do you think you can show her to the extra bed we've got? You've got it, Marie. Let's go. Say, ain't you got any luggage or anything? Nah, just the clothes on my back. Well, that means less to carry, I guess. This way. Have a nice nap, bear cat. Will do. Heh. <laughs> He didn't seem to like that answer much, but I ignored him after that and walked out. You go, Maddie. She's got spunk. Phoebe and I went down another set of stairs and into a room on the left side of a hallway. Oh, this is a nice room. It's a library. Well, a research room. Research. Never heard the word before. Oh, uh, research is when you try to learn more about something that you don't know enough about. You can read about it or do experiments, or ask people, that sort of thing. I nodded. Vivi gestured for me to go ahead. I looked around. Books everywhere. What do bootleggers have to do all this research for? I wondered. 
stuck in the corner with some more shells of the bed. Looked a little cramped, but I don't take up much room anyhow. Wasn't exactly what I was thinking of when Marie said there was an extra room, but a place to sleep's a place to sleep. Yeah, don't look a gift horse in the mouth, Maddie. The speakeasy is open till late, so you should sleep now while you can. I nodded. Thanks, Phoebe. Hey, no problem. Us girls gotta stick together, you know. You let me know if you need anything. Got it. Sleep tight. She left and after taking up my jacket, I jumped into bed. I've been losing hope of landing a job, but maybe this will turn out all right. That's what I was thinking till I dozed off. A couple hours later, Vivi woke me up and we went back up to the speakeasy. It looked really nice, all lit up like that. Glad you can make it, Maddie. I can't be late my first day on the job, can I? There was a still good hour left before the place opened for business. You look more like a dam with your hair down. Don't judge a woman by how womanly you think she looks, Emilio. I'll be angry with you. Damn, don't piss off the boss. Sorry, Marie. You know I didn't mean it like that. I know you didn't, but still, be nice. Really, I'm sorry. I had to take that in for a second. You mean it like what? Staring at the lines in Marie's face, though, I suddenly understood. You're... I'm a woman. I was just born in the wrong kind of body, that's all. Okay. Hey, I'm not gonna judge. Though I don't see why anyone would really want to be a woman. Are you kidding? You girls have it way easier than us guys do. Women don't have to go off to war. You didn't go to war either, tough guy. Dry up, Viv. Just then, I heard the sound of arguing coming from the stairs. Sounds like the men are back. And what am I? Just a boy, Emmy. Hmm. Man, Emilio gets no love. In walked a pair of regular sheiks. A big six and a stiff-looking bird, wearing a cape. Nice cape. Does he know how silly that cape looks? Well, I think it looks nice. Maybe not on him, but it looks like a nice cape. Let me introduce you to the guys, Maddie. Who's the damn, Marie? This is Maddie. She's our new bartender. Is that so? Good to meet you. I'm Giovanni. If you have any questions, just ask me any time. I nodded. After a few seconds later, I noticed his outstretched hand, so I shook it in a hurry. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Way too serious. <laughs> okay. Hey, Alex, say something to the girl, will ya? Good evening. I'm Alexei. He had a real thick accent. Well, almost everyone in here had some kind of accent, but his, thick like butter. I nodded. Sorry, doll. He's what you call the slow to warm up type. Hmm. The gang's all together. Isn't this the berries? I had to wonder what all everyone did around here. Marie clearly owned the joint. Alexei and Giovanni, probably muscle. But Emilio and Vivi, hmm. Go, uh oh, uh, I thought it was go, aw. Uh. Gio, show Maddie the ropes, will ya? You got it. Maddie, Gio's the one I was telling you about before. The musician? Right. He'll take good care of you. Try and do what he says, all right? I nodded and went behind the counter with Giovanni. He took off his coat and hat and stowed them away. Oh, he's got, oh gosh, he's so hot. You ever mixed drinks before? Well, if I'm leveling with you, no. But I learned real quick. I believe ya. That's no problem. Try this on for size. He handed me a glass and a metal cup thing. This here's a shaker. You, uh, shake things with it. Copacetic. He pulled out another glass and shaker for himself. He poured some alcohol and ice into him and started shaking. These are the basics for mixing. It's all the same technique. You just gotta learn what goes with what to make what else. Think you can do it? Sure. Over the next half hour or so, we worked out some cocktails. It was a lot to remember, but I really wanted a job. I did my best to keep up. You weren't kidding about being a fast learner. Good job, kid. A few more nights and you might just be able to take over for me. But now all the others had gathered around the bar. Cool, we are a fast learner. We're awesome. See, Emma? She's doing just fine. Yeah, yeah, let's see how she holds up in a week. Anyone can do good the first day. By the way, I didn't get a chance to ask you before, but how'd you find out about this job anyway? This doesn't exactly seem like your racket. 
I didn't see any reason to lie about it. I shrugged. I didn't hear about it. Not exactly. I followed the signs. It was just my luck you cats were hiring. Sorry I didn't mention that before. Marie and Giovanni just look at each other for a second before looking back at me. Signs? You know, those glow and smoke things in the air. They made a trail that led right to this joint. A silence hung in the air for a while. You're a magician. Alexei was the first to speak up, strangely enough, but his words made no sense to me. A uh, what? A magician. It means you can use magic, Maddie. Baloney, I ain't no magician. You see a wand or a witch's hat on me? But only magicians can see those signs. Those are a secret message for others of our kind. There should be signs like that in a lot of cities, especially the big ones like San Francisco. Haven't you seen them before? Nope, but I ain't exactly been here long. Where did you live before? Sacramento. I'm sure this cove is there too. You never saw signs like these in Sacramento? I already told you I didn't. I think I'd remember if I did. Calm down, Bearcat. Don't tell me what to do, Buster. Why you? Damn. I'm loving Maddie. Look, I don't know from nothing about magical magicians. This is the first I heard of any of this. Well, it's not totally unheard of, this situation. Perhaps you were just in a part of Sacramento where the coven couldn't reach. It is rare, but it does happen. Have you ever noticed anything strange happen around you? Times when you wish for something to happen, they'd happen just like that? Obviously something happened. I thought back. Now that they were mentioning it, I could think of plenty of examples. Times when I wished it would stop raining and it did. Times when I was dealing with some bully and suddenly when they touched me, they said it burned like fire. Things I thought were just coincidences. Um, a magician? Absolutely. Join the club. You're all magicians? Got it in one. Hmm, this is going to be a little bit of a problem. How so? Well, now you've got to take the exam. Uh, exam? What's that? It's a test. See, we magicians have this thing called the Grand Council, a bunch of old foggies who make the decisions about the way things are run. Every magician has to be approved by the council. Usually they find you at a young age and train you to take this exam. If you fail, you get your magic taken away and your memory wiped. I lose my memory if I don't pass? Dead men tell no tales, but amnesiac don't uh, neither. Since we found out that you've got the magic potential, it's our duty to report you to the council. One of us will be your mentor. We'll train you, and then you'll take a magic exam administered by council representatives. Will she be able to handle both that and being a bartender at the same time? They all turned to me. Their eyes were questioning, expecting. I didn't know if I really wanted to be a magician right then, but losing my memory of this place would be a problem. Sure, course I will. I can do it. Copacetic. Our coven's going to be even numbered at last. If she passes, that is. Why you gotta be such a wet blanket, Emmy? Oh, dry up, Viv. I ain't a wet blanket, just a realist. That's not the word I'd use. I don't care. All right, all right, enough from you two. Now, Maddie, I know this has to be a lot to take in. Why don't you turn in for the night? But what about the job? Ain't this place about to open? We did fine without you up till now. We can survive one more night. Marie is right. Get some rest. We can talk more in the morning. Well, if you put it that way, then all right. I'll take you up on that. Man, we are taking this really well. Suddenly a magician, we might lose our memory. You go, Maddie. Can you find your way to your room by yourself? Yeah, I think I've got the hang of it. Just one stairway down. All right, good night, Maddie. Boo, oh gosh. Boo on a knot, doll. Nat. Okay. Full of mixed feelings, I went downstairs to my new room. Of course, I tossed and turned the whole night, but what do you expect? It's not every day you're told you're a magician. Okay. And I shall stop here. 
So let's us save. Okay, let's us save. Quick save complete. I can quick load. Okay, save is S. Okay, save is S. Aha! There it is. Okay, and then I'll sign out now. So this is Mad Panda signing out. If you like my content and you want to see more content like this, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. Once again, this is Mad Panda signing out. See you later, guys.